Hello everyone! Today I wanted to show you how I did this eye look and hopefully you can, that is so annoying, recreate it. It is like a super crazy, dramatic, Mardi Gras look. I really like it. Yes, yes ma'am, or sir, I do. Um, yeah, this is pretty dramatic. I'll, yeah, I think that's all. <laughs> If you would like to know how I did this or want to recreate it or see how I tried it or put you, do it, put your own spin on it, just uh, please keep watching. Okay, I've already primed my lid with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And the reason I'm doing my foundation and everything like this is because whenever I do something like glittery or dramatic, I usually do my foundation afterwards just because all of the fallout. Jumbo eye pencil from NYX in the color pure gold. I'm going to take this pigment from Sugar Pill called Goldilocks. This is the best gold color you're gonna ever find. I'm just gonna use my finger and pat it on. From Mac. The color rice paper. It's more of a gold shimmering highlight. A flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight. I wish my eyebrows. A fluffy blending brush in the color Walk of Shame from the Naked Basics. I know I use this every single day. And I'm taking it right underneath the brow bone highlight. Naked two, that slightly down. A company called Beautifully Addictive. I'm probably gonna go ahead and do like a review on them and a haul video of what I got. But I'm taking the color Proud. It's this really pretty purple color. I'm using a pencil brush. Taking my MAC 217 blending brush. I'm going to take an angled Q tip. Just drag that out. And do you see how I clean that up a little bit higher so I can drag this gold out a bit? I'm going to go back with that jumbo pencil from NYX and a small brush. I am using the OCC Lip Tar brush. It's going to get a little bit of color off there. I'm going to dip that brush into the Goldilocks. This color from Urban Decay, they're 24-7 pencils in the color Freak. I have this one and Junkie. I was debating which one I should use, but Junkie is a little bit more blue-green. I want to put that on the waterline. It's called Jealous, and I'm going to use this darker one here. It came in the, which one? The Theodora palette. Great and Powerful Oz Theodora palette. Small smudge brush. I'm just going to set that with a little bit darker of a shadow so I can get that green that I'm wanting to achieve here. From like a three wing thing going on there. Okay. Now for the really hard part. Um, lime stiletto from Maybelline. You're gonna wanna just follow that line of the gold. Okay, and since that is such a difficult process to do, if you're kind of a beginner or don't have a steady hand, which obviously you could tell I don't have the steadiest hand, but I try to make it work, 
you could skip the black liner altogether. You could just do, you know, just the, the round part of your eye. You don't have to wing it out or anything like that. And even if you do, you can just wing it out. You don't have to go back and connect it if you choose not to. Or you can leave out that step completely. I mean, it's, it's makeup, it's fun, it's whatever you wanna do, whatever you can do. This takes lots of practice, and what you're not seeing is me going back in and really working at this. So, and yes, I drink my tea through a coffee straw. And stones. Once again, you can completely leave the step out. It's 100% up to you, obviously. Okay, and for the rhinestones, I'm just going to use a rhinestone wheel for nail art and some lash glue and a precision Q-tip. Literally a tiny bit on the Q-tip. Dad a little bit on there. And then, see the remaining glue? It's on the q-tip just to poke at it pretty simple I'm going to take some gold rhinestones repeat the process yeah mama this shall be is a drink holes in their sweater. Why would you want someone to put their hands in the holes of your okay, sweater? Hey guys, that is it. This is, oh, that is so annoying. Quit shining. Okay. All right, this is my finished look. Yeah, you're crazy. Okay. Yeah, this is perfect for Mardi Girl. Totally, if I'm gonna go do something, I'm doing this. I love this. And the lip color I'm wearing, actually I kind of just made it. I just kind of made it up. I did, I used the um, Nicki Minaj 2, or no, it's not 2. No, Nicki Minaj 2. The Viva Glam <sighs> lipstick, and it wasn't, I put it on, it wasn't purpley enough to kind of like go with the thing. So I took a little bit of that proud color that I used on the lid, or on the, in the crease, and I kind of mixed it in a little bit with the Nicki Minaj 2. Okay, everything I use will be in the description box below. Please like this video. Please comment, let me know if you want me to do a little bit more of a toned down Mardi Gras look, because I know everyone doesn't like want to attempt this or don't think they can like rock this, but you can, you can. But anyway, let me know if you want me to do like a little bit more toned down look for Mardi Gras. Or a little bit more crazy. I think I'm gonna do a um, like a full out like a mask. He's <laughs> like dreaming again. Thumbs up this video. Please give it a like. And also, please subscribe. The bottom line, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye.